my channel. Oh my gosh, this eye is twitching. Can you guys see it? Oh my god, why is it twitching? Go away, not today. So prom is right around the corner and I thought that for today's video I wanted to go ahead and do a easy eyeshadow look for all of my girls who are going out to prom. I remember prom as if it was like yesterday. I had such a blast with all of my girlfriends and hope that you guys have a blast as well. Um, so I thought today why not let's go ahead and film a really quick um, easy eyeshadow tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started with the eyebrows. Um, I went ahead and already did the brows um, but the product that I really love to use is my Anastasia um, dip brow gel um, it's a new product that Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with it's such a stunning product and I definitely want something that's not gonna budge or go anywhere and if I'm dancing I definitely don't want like half of my brow going <laughs> the other direction and then the other one going the other direction or overall just smudging so I really appreciate this product because it literally my brows stay in place all night and they just make it look so natural without without me trying super hard and they last now for the eyes you guys we definitely want our eyeshadows to last a very long time and i'm gonna start off with doing my eyes first um so i'm gonna go ahead and go into my urban decay eden primer of course it's the one that i use all the time and for that i'm gonna go into my concealer brush from sigma the f75 and i'm gonna go ahead and just apply some in the back of my hand like this and pick some product up. Now I love to use a good primer like this also because this one has a little bit of a color um, to it. There's some primers that are clear and sheer. I don't, I personally don't like those. I'm obsessed with this primer because it really helps my eyeshadow stand out a little bit more and it also helps them last a lot longer, especially if you're gonna be having a long night. You want your eyeshadows to stand out, but also to stay in place. Okay, so now that that is on, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the eyeshadows. Now the ones that I'm going to be using today are actually from Wet n Wild, and this is from the Rose Rebel Collection. I'm gonna use this palette right here. This one is the Secret Garden, so that's what it looks like. So gorgeous. I absolutely love these palettes, you guys. They perform so good, and for the price, I am in love. The other one I'm gonna use is Bed of Roses. So this is what this one looks like. This one gives me more of a um, prom vibe. So we'll definitely see what we come up with. Going into my Morphe M433 brush, I'm gonna start to go ahead and we actually need a transition color. And then I'm also gonna dip into the Huda Beauty palette and then we're gonna pick up one of these colors for transition. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here which is called Teddy. And we're gonna apply this all over our crease. I always like to buff in the eyeshadows towards my brow so that way you can kind of get a nice clean transition because you don't want to see where your eyeshadows start or stop. You really want to just blend them out. Going into this little palette right here, this one again is Secret Garden. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Sorry guys, we had to do a voiceover because my neighbor decided to mow his lawn right now. Great. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just place that shade towards the outer corner and then we're gonna work it in towards the crease of our eye and then blending whatever we have left towards the um, inner corner of our eye. So basically what you're gonna do here is just um, try to blend everything um, and then I'm also gonna smoke it out towards the outer corner but just mainly working in whatever we have already on the brush um, until we have no more and then we pick up a little bit more and then darken up the outer corner just a tiny bit. You're doing the exact same thing. Um, this It's totally up to you now with how much intensity you want, um, but I always work in whatever I have on my brush for the entire eye and then I'll go back and add more if I need to. I'm gonna go to move on to the next eye and do the exact same thing. So now we're going to go into Bed of Roses and we're going to take this red burgundy shade right here and then we're only going to use that towards the outer corner. We are not going to take it all the way into the crease. We mainly want to focus this right here. So what this is going to do you guys is kind of give you a nice catty look, cat eye look. And you want to apply just patty motions just like this. 
Now the reason why I don't take it all the way to the crease and into the inner corner is because we want it to mainly be dark towards the outer corner and have that be the focus point of a smoky eye. Um, and then I do go back into the first palette, you guys, um, the first shade that we did place on our eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and just go over this darker purple shade um, just so that everything looks blended and that there is no um, harsh edges. Um, the main key, you guys, about eyeshadows is always blending. Um, but you would be really thankful once you do blend because you'll be satisfied with the end result. Um, so take your time. Okay, so next step, I'm gonna pick up the palette Bitter Roses and going into the darker plum color and doing the exact same thing. I'm only gonna focus this shade towards the outer corner. Um, and then I do go back into the other shade right next to it and blend that and then go back to the first one and blend all of them together until I am satisfied with the blend that I have. I love to use patty motions first and then I'll move the product back and forth. I feel like that gives it a better application versus going in right away and smoking it out. Um, you want to definitely use patty motions and then blend back and forth and then build up the intensity as much as you like. Sorry guys, I had to change my battery. Um, <laughs> I was doing this eye and then I noticed that it wasn't recording anymore because my battery died. Um, so I went ahead and just did a baby wing, which I'm gonna show you guys on this eye. And then I also applied some falsies. For the main lid, you guys, on here, I went into the Bed of Roses palette and I went into the shade right here. So stunning. So I do go in with a brush first and then I go in with some um, setting spray. Um, so that way it is more pigmented. First, I'm going to go into my Sigma Eye Shading Brush, the E55. I'm going to go ahead and just dip into that brush, brush to that shadow. And then we're going to go ahead and just place it like this. And we're just using tapping motions. It's so beautiful. Love it. Just build up the color. So stunning. I love it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I created this half baby wing. I've been obsessed with half wings because I cannot do a wing, like a, one of those Instagram wings to save my life. So this is my lazy wing because I still get a wing but I'm not doing too much or overstressing myself. So I'm gonna go into my Schwing Black Liquid Eyeliner from the Bomb Cosmetics, my absolutely favorite wing liner at the moment i love it because it does dry matte and i also love the um tip of it it's so straight and it doesn't wiggle everywhere it's just perfect i love this liner so much so with my wing i just go right here once i go out like this i release pressure and now i'm gonna go ahead Just like that. And then I'll tilt the applicator to the side like this. And then I'll get in here as close to my lash line as I can. Like that. So easy, right? Now the next um, trick that I like to do with my eyeliner, I'll grab a makeup wipe and I'll clean it up like this. Hopefully you guys can see. And then for lashes today, I'm going to dip into my girlfriend Blanca Flor Mink Lashes in the style So Me. They've been like my favorite these past few weeks. Absolutely love them. I feel like lashes make such a huge difference. <laughs> such a huge difference. Now the reason why I really like this primer, you guys, is because it's oil-free, shine-free, and it's also suitable for all skin types, but it also extends the wear of your makeup. So it really helps to last your makeup all day, um, especially if you're going to be dancing and booty popping, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to go into my full spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition All Day Shine Free Foundation. Absolutely love this foundation so much. And since I want my makeup to last a little bit longer, but I also don't want my face to look super dry and matte because I am combo to oily, so I'm not 100% oily. For concealer, I'm going to go into my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And this is in the shade Ivory 330. 
For cream contour, I'm gonna go into this shade called um, shade from Revolution Conceal into Fine Full Coverage Concealer, and this is in the shade um, C13. And I'm using my Luxie Brush number no. 660 Precision Foundation Brush. Of course, you want to set your face so that way it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to go into the Kylie Jenner. This is her new um, translucent powders. I'm going to go into the shade Beige. I've been warming up to her setting powders. The only thing that I don't like is that when your sponge is a little bit too damped, then um, the powder starts to crumble. Um, so always make sure that your, that your sponge is not too, too, too wet because it does do that. Um, but overall, you guys, this product works really well. It sets my makeup really nicely. And um, I just feel like it looks really airbrushed. But the important part too is that my makeup does last with this powder. For bronzers today, I'm gonna go in to take home the bronze from the Bomb Cosmetics and I'm gonna take the color Tony. I know that these bronzers have actually switched names on the website, so I'm sorry, I don't know which one is which now. Um, I did do a review, I'll link it up here for you guys on these bronzers. When it comes to using a bronzer on your nose, make sure that you're blending it towards the brows and into the eyeshadow so that way it looks like your nose is naturally snatched. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more of the Kylie powder and just cut a little bit so that way you can bake and clean up a little bit. For blush, I'm gonna go into the Balm Cosmetics Balm Beach Blush. Now to go ahead and dust off the setting powder, I'm gonna go into my, of course, my full spectrum powder by CoverGirl. And this is in the shade Light Neutral. I don't know where my Y11 brush went. Creo que lo perdí. I'm gonna go into this BH Cosmetics um, brush that I normally use all the time. Now I normally don't wear highlight, but I'm gonna go into this one from Wet n Wild. It's called Bloom Time. It's their highlighting powders. I'm just gonna apply just a little bit right here and I'm gonna use my finger to warm it up into my skin. I don't like to wear a lot of highlight because for me, I do have combo to oily and throughout the night, it does tend to get oily. So I don't wanna apply too much but just a little bit like that hey guys for my lower lash line i'm gonna go into the secret garden palette again and i'm gonna go into the shade right here and picking up my morphe s20 i'm gonna start to smoke out my lower lash line but we're only gonna focus this towards the outer corner mostly and then with my morphe um s30 i'm gonna go into this shade right here so i'm gonna go into that one just dry and we're gonna go in Oh, this one has no mirror. Hold, please. And we're going to go in just like that. In the waterline, I'm going to go into my MAC Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15. Now for lips, you guys, I'm going to go into my Morphe Lip Pencil in the shade Makeup Talk. And I'm going to go ahead and just start to... Uh -oh. And then for lips, you guys, I'm going to go into this one from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's called Belle du, so du Sawyer. I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury lip products. Oh, these are brand new, you guys. I love these so much. They're so pigmented, and they're so comfortable on the lips, too, and I just love it. I hope that you really enjoyed this makeup look. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna be going to prom um, and what you're gonna be wearing. But if you do create this makeup look, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations. Um, and also, if you're gonna be going to prom, please be safe, make smart decisions. Do not do things just because your friends are doing them. Peer pressure is not always a good thing. Prom can be one of the best happy days of your life, but it also can turn really ugly if you do not make smart decisions. 
friends. So with that said, you guys have a blast. Take tons of pictures. Hang out with your girlfriends. Enjoy it. It's your senior year. It's honestly like I wish I can go back to high school and relive prom again because it was so much fun. Um, so enjoy it. I love you guys so much. Besos and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.